Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, I'm actually going to show you a couple of tricks to help you write calculations in a nice, clear way and actually allow you to test them as you build them. So let's get stuck in. Okay, so I'm here in Tableau. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up Superstore Sales here. I'm going to open the American one. This is the global one that typically most people have, but it doesn't matter what you're using. You should get the same results if you open up Superstore in Tableau. Now, here's my data set. You can see that it's pretty much ready to go. What I'm actually going to do is build a very simple table so that everything is really nice and clear. I'm going to go to the product uh, hierarchy here, grab category and subcategory and put those two next to each other. And then I'm going to go and get the segment. This is the customer segmentation that's done in the data source. So I'm going to put that over here and we're just going to leave it at that. You can see that in the table you have this uh, label that says ABC. That's just Tableau letting you know that it would ideally like you to put something on the text label here so it can display those values. If I go ahead and do that, if I put sales on text, you'll see that those ABCs disappear and I actually get some values. But for this video, I actually want to keep that clear because what I'm going to show you is going to show you essentially a better way of writing calculations. Right, let's get stuck into this little trick. So I'm going to go ahead and write a calculation. And what I like to do, it doesn't matter what calculation I'm writing, if I just bring it into view here, I've got a Got another screen dialed in here, so everything's a little bit uh, bigger than it should be. Let's just resize this down. It's absolutely massive. I don't know what is going on here, but let's bring this in. Uh, there's my little sidebar. Let's bring that in a little bit more and keep going until it's small enough for what we need here. And then I'll bring that back open so you can see everything that's going on nicely on screen. Now, what I like to do with calculations, I like to spell them out before I start to write them. So tip number one, make sure you comment your calculations. Now, there's two ways of doing comments in Tableau. If you just want to do a single line comment, you can just do double forward slash and you're pretty much good to go. So comment here. And if you want to comment out a whole section, you could do a forward slash star, uh, write whatever you want. Go to the very end do a star and a backslash and that's going to do exactly the same thing and anything you put in between the uh comments is basically going to be commented out now of course this calculation is not valid because it's looking for something so if i was just to go here and type sum of sales um you'd see that this would now become a valid calculation no actually uh, sales is not a field it's in itself so let's make sure we actually use a value that exists and you can see that's valid now so that's essentially how to common calculation. I've shown you the two ways to do that. We're actually going to need that trick in a second. Now, like I said, we need to comment out our calculation. So I'm going to do it the old school way by doing a double forward slash. And I'm going to say step one, um, need to find um, all items in furniture. Okay, that's step one. Step two, uh, I then need to find... Uh, everything in chairs. Uh, step three, tag those as uh, discontinued. Um, and then step four, for everything else, uh, mark as discounted. Okay. So I've got four things I need to do here. I'll just make this larger so you can see what's going on. I'm just holding control and moving my cursor, um, not my cursor, my scroll wheel on my mouse up and down. And that's essentially doing that for me. Now you can see here that I've got my logic set out. So now that I've got my logic set out, I can actually start testing the calculations and writing it. So uh, step two, when you're writing a calculation, actually write them underneath each of your comments. So you'll see me adding a space in between these calculations to make them easier to sort of spread out and see what's going on. That's why I use this type of comment because I want everything to fit on one line. If I go ahead and put another space, let's write the, the logic for the top uh, item here. So I need to find all items in furniture. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. this the, the simplest way that most people do is a logic statement. So they basically say that if um, category equals furniture, and I'll just go type in furniture. Tableau doesn't have autocomplete, so this is not gonna autocomplete for you. Make sure you spell it correctly. Um, then what I'm gonna do is um, basically tag them as found. So let's let's just say found, uh, and then uh, else. Uh, I actually don't need to do an else here. I can just end that statement there, and that's gonna be pretty good. So you can see that I've written my calculation there. And that's pretty much it. Now, for everything else that is not furniture, it's basically going to leave it as null because I haven't specified something at the end of that function. Now, what I could do is I could say then found else um, ignore. Okay. 
And that would also do the same thing, but this time instead of null, I get the term ignore. Now, if you wanna see this very quickly, here's the trick that you should really use more often, okay? If I just highlight this uh, calculation here, what I can actually do is I can drag it and put it on text. And you can see there that I can very quickly see my calculation working, okay? So it's instantly gone and replaced all the text items with exactly what was in that calculation. And you'll see that my calculation is also in here as an ad hoc calculation. So if I double click it, I can actually go ahead and uh, edit it inside of that ad hoc calculation. So by dragging it into one of the placeable items, anywhere you can place a pill or uh, one of these Tableau calculations, uh, green or blue sort of pills, you can go ahead and edit that calculation directly. So this is a really, really nice way of testing it. Let's say that I wanted to change this calculation and I wanted to see the difference between this one and the previous one where it essentially gives you a null instead of ignore. I can go ahead, I can remove this. Uh, so it ends here, you can see the calculation is valid. Let's highlight this again, go back, put it on text. And now you can see that the null is working because we've got this sort of uh, additional space. What I can do is I can remove the previous one uh, let's just remove the previous, all of them, in, in fact, and just do this again. So it's much, much clearer to see. And you can see that everything else is left as null because essentially I didn't specify anything in them. So this is a really nice way of testing and calculation and making sure things are working as you progress. Now, the other thing you can do is you can put this item uh, anywhere in the columns and rows. So I'm actually going to put this up here. This is what I recommend people do when they're tagging things and they want to make sure that their logic is going to work. So write the different components of your logic and then slowly add it all together. So uh, the first thing was to check if the category equals furniture, then found. Um, I then need to find uh, everything in chairs. So I can just um, I can just basically essentially do this. So I can go ahead and paste this. And uh, what I need to do here is call this a subcategory. Uh, so let's just go ahead and type that and let's make sure this is uh, chairs. Okay, and uh, you can see here there's an issue because essentially it's, I'm writing sort of two calculations simultaneously. So to avoid that issue, I'm just going to double comment that top one so that this second one is valid. And now I'm going to test this. So I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to grab and that and put it on text. And you can see that it finds the chair items there. So that's all working nicely. I can go ahead and put it next to my uh, previous calculation just so that I can start to see them laid out really nicely. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm doing a bit of trial and error and I'm building this out as a table before I start doing it as a chart where it gets really complex really quickly. Um, uh, essentially, what I then need to do is tag those two things as discontinued. So essentially, um, you can think of this a bit like an AND clause. So instead of writing this, I'm just going to put double four slash here and just say AND clause. So basically, I want to say if the category is furniture and the subcategory is chairs, then found. Otherwise, mark everything as, as discounted. So for this last one, I can just say um, uh, this this last one is kind of, there's no need to test this because it's basically just the final condition. And I've already sort of got some experience with that because the final condition is essentially uh, this uh, addition where we just basically go, if I just put this in a double forward slash uh, else if um, uh, discounted is essentially what I'm going to type, okay? And uh, and an end statement on that. So that's basically all I need to do. I can't test this because it's not a complete logic statement, okay? But what I could do is I could go ahead and grab this and put it at the end of this, and then we can um, uh, just test this. Now, uh, the reason I put an else if is because I was thinking ahead. In this case, I'm going to put an else and it will work completely fine. Um, if you're getting confused with any of this, go check out my video on Tableau functions. I've specifically covered these logic functions uh, in a lot of detail, so that it's a really, really good video for this. If I then go ahead and we test this, I'm just going to go grab it, put it next to the previous one. You can see that the discounter tag is working. So I'm essentially just building these up. I'm just building out a very simple table and it's working really, really nicely. So now I can actually start to bring this together. And when I do that, I tend to just remove these forward slashes and now I'm left with the sort of bare bones of my calculations and I can actually start constructing it the way I want. So if category equals furniture and then what I can do is and subcategory equals chairs. So let's just copy that and just type in an and clause there and paste that in. And what I like to do is I like to format things in a clear way. Another reason why people get sort of deep into calculations is they just keep adding stuff and they haven't formatted it along the way. And the formatting doesn't break the calculations. So what I like to do is put every single new thing I'm doing on a new line. So let's go ahead and say if category equals furniture and 
subcategory equals chairs, then uh, found. And then for this one, uh, I can basically remove this end clause here and I can go and get this. And this isn't necessarily correct, but I'll paste it in and then we'll sort of figure out what to do with this. And we'll just go ahead and comment the old one out. Um, uh, so if category equals furniture and the subcategory equals the chairs, then found. Um, now, what I need to actually do is uh, mark these as discontinued. So this um, uh, discontinued and then um, else. I don't need the else if. Else if is only needed if I need to sort of write multiple logic statements. So in this particular case, else is absolutely fine. Else discounted uh, and then end. So I'll just put the else on a new line. And I'll put the end on a new line. So basically you can see this logic statement here is all on a new line for each new thing I do. So it's easy to read. If category equals furniture and subcategory equals chairs, then discounted else, uh, um, discontinued else discounted. Well, that's a really big tongue twister there. <laughs> Using two words that are very similar, but not the same. Uh, and then for everything else, you can see it's just basically zoned out because uh, it's not a valid calculation. So we can actually go ahead and delete all of these and I can just close this up. And what I like to do is put the formatting back at the top so that anyone who opens this workbook in like three years time or never, which is most of the case with most analytical products, is they're going to be able to understand what this means right from the get go. So let's have a look at this and see what's going on. So if category was furniture and subcategory was chairs, then discontinued, else discounted, and um, and essentially if I just go ahead and drag that there and we put it next to our thing, we can actually see the uh, the tag working. So you can see that it's macked everything other than the chairs item as discontinued and that's me creating a logic statement and writing a calculation in a very simple way now this has been a very simple calculation if you've been using tableau for a while this is a very easy calculation to write you probably don't even need to go through all the steps that i've gone through because eventually you do get comfortable enough just writing this statement out without needing sort of the support that i've given you in this video but nevertheless, if you're doing a more complicated uh, calculation, you're definitely going to find this useful. It doesn't matter how experienced you are. It's just a fundamental part of making sure you build your calculations and test them in a way that's structured. And this is a nice little trick. We're using ad hoc calculations in the view. And once everything is there, of course, you can just get rid of them. So something that people will ask is, hey, can I then get rid of these? Absolutely, because those were just ad hoc calculations that we're using on the way to getting a final answer. And because this is the calculation I wanna keep, I'll just call this tag, I'll hit apply. And when we hit that uh, apply button, it actually goes over here to the left-hand side and you can see that I, I can actually bring it in and it's got a nice field name to it, tag. Um, but my existing calculation here is still there. Let's say that I wanted to bring back one of those uh, previous calculations and they were still here. What you can do, if I close the calculation window, you can see that this is still here. What you can do is you can drag this and put it here on the left hand side and Tableau will assume that you're trying to create a calculation from that ad hoc calculation. So then I can call this tag V2 and hit enter and you'll see that it renames this one here on the top and uh, renames this column as well. So, so many flexible ways with working calculations and hopefully you found this video useful and it's been maybe showing you something you didn't know about Tableau. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Be sure to check out the functions playlist that I have set up for this function and many other functions as well as other videos that I have on the channel and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.